All right, guys, let's run through a day of my off-season eating. Start my day is either uh, start of my day is either at eight or six a.m. or eight a.m. Depends on uh, when the when the baby gets up, and if I can sleep until eight a.m., that's awesome. So it just depends. Start my uh, day with a shake. So my mass gain shake is going to be first thing uh, that I drink. I want to cram a massive amount of calories first, and I'm really not hungry for whole food at this point in the game during your off season. Uh, mo some people hit a wall, and it's hard to force in more food. I'm that person. I'm not a person that can just eat, eat, eat ongoing throughout the, the months. Uh, I do hit a sticking point. Getting close to that point now. So the liquid works well for me. I'll show you what's in my mass gaining shake. This big bucket here. As I'm going through this pretty rapidly. Here's the scooper. I do three scoops. Three big ass scoops here. Right into this Vitamix here. Ton of, ton of powder. And that's going to be uh, about 1,100 calories. 215 grams of carbs, 50 grams of protein. Now I'm actually gonna add a scoop of additional whey isolate to this to make it 75 grams of protein with uh, the complementary uh, macronutrients to go with it. So start my day with this, guys. I'm gonna go blend this up. That gets uh, an easy 200 plus carbs in me. And then I'm gonna repeat this again too, so I'll explain why with uh, the next meal of, of this. Here's the additional scoop of protein. I'm gonna use my isosol graham cracker pie crust. Honestly though, the flavor kind of gets lost and all the other powder we got going on in here. So there's my grand total of 75 grams of protein, 250 grams of carbs, five grams of fat. Now the mass gain shake that I am using guys, it's comprised of uh, something called mod carb, which is quinoa, buckwheat, um, and oat bran powder. So it's complex carbs, a little bit slower acting, a little bit healthier, quote unquote, but let's face it, anything in a bolus amount of 200 grams of carbs is never that healthy, but it's a little cleaner as far as a masking um, concoction. And so I get that powder through direct the company of Future Suticals makes mod carb. So uh, I get the powder through them. And here's my first meal of the day right here. All right guys, here's the uh, amount of fluid, it's a pretty big shake. And I put enough water in there, I'd say around 20 ounces, so it's not sludgy and gross. I don't really like it thick, I'd rather it more watery. Turn that off. And of course it's gonna fill this up. That's the texture, it's relatively easy. It's a little thicker, but not like sludge. So once again guys, I don't wanna film this twice. I have this shake for my first two meals of the day. These two shakes get me um, by without eating, which is convenient. And it gets me up to 440 grams of carbs just uh, from liquid. 440 grams of carbs, it gets me up to 150 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat. Get this shit down fast, because I want to get calories in me fast, I don't want to eat. Cool thing is, let's say I have the first shake at uh, 7 a.m., I'll have the second shake at 10 a.m. So now at that point I already got over 2,000 calories accomplished. I have 400 grams of carbs accomplished. Now after you know the 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. whenever I have the second shake, I can chill out. I can literally get my GI tract three or four hours or more before then I start eating real whole food and I can actually have somewhat of an appetite to scarf some food down. So once again, this shake is done twice. First meal and second meal. Okay, so I'm heading to the gym right now after my two mass gaining shakes. I don't do intra workout right now because I am so stuffed with food and shakes that it's just more uh, irritation in my stomach. But I will have a pre workout drink, which will be one scoop of Cellulol, D ribose. I'll do 20 grams just because I think D ribose is a great product just for cellular, cellular energy, for heart health, um, ATP production, all that stuff. And I'll do two scoops of farm grade EAA. I like the Tangerine Crush. I think it's awesome flavor that, that we did. So this will be my pre-training drink. No intra. All right, guys, I'm done training post-workout. Got to be honest with you guys, this is forcing this shake down, uh, my post-workout recovery shake. I'm just, I'm not really uh, too excited about this. I'm pretty full still. So I'm going to do two scoops of Targa, which is 70 grams of carbs. Of course, one scoop of my Caribovol, uh, which supplies all that good stuff there. And two scoops of my farm grade, uh, pharmaceutical grade essential amino acids, all into this. That's immediately post training. It's what I'm gonna have. 
and we will see what I'm gonna have on my actual whole food meal starting after this. All right guys, first real food meal. It's literally 4 p.m. and this is my first real food meal. So what is it? It's this amazing sticky rice I get at Costco. It's 71 grams of carbs for one container, 90 seconds in the microwave. And then this is six and a half ounces of elk meat. So elk, rice, and then I add the best sauce. Fire on in the mountain, which is a wing place in Portland, Oregon. It's like a peanut sauce. It's a little on the um, fattier side there for my liking. Three grams of fat, but it's off season and I'm an ectomorph so I can handle that. So this is my first meal, guys, after all the uh, masking and shakes and the post-workout. Does it look good? Hey. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's my next meal. Awesome find. These are uh, low-fat top ramens. One gram of fat, not hydrogenated and crappy like the ones we're all used to. Um, seven grams of protein, 45 grams of carbs per pack. I have two of these things, so that's 90 grams of carbs right there. And then another six and a half ounce patty of elk with ketchup. So this is my second whole food you meal. Your meal this guy? You hungry for this one, buddy? Hey. What's up with the hair? Hey, say hi to dad. You know he probably wants to eat real food too. It's time for bed. All right, guys, here's my next meal. Wonderful <clears throat> filet mignon. No matter how full I am, such a buttery, awesome cut of steak that very easy to get down. And I have a whole package of simply baked french fries, low fat, you know, so it's not like a bunch of fat or a bunch of oil. Um, I'm going to have the whole bag, which is uh, eh, about a 110 to 120 grams of carbs. Of course, I got salt and um, another kernel seasonings over the fries. So this is my next meal, filet mignon and a whole bag of baked french fries. All right, guys, final thing of the night, honey smoked salmon. No, um, no additional carbs. There's already, uh, well, there says there's, says there's zero carbs, but we all know that honey or any type of sweetness from sugar is not zero carbs. So I'm going to have around four ounces of this. I'm going to call it a night tonight. So that's my final thing that I'm eating here. All right, guys, so that was my full day of off-season eating that you saw. And I'll give you the grand total of the macros. And like I said, um, my off-season varies day to day. The two shakes are always consistent, but then my meals are going to change slightly. Um, the protein source could change. The carbs could change. I could have a cheat meal. Um, all that stuff is always variant. So uh, yesterday's totals, protein was 315 grams. Carbs was 770 grams. Fat was 74 grams. The grand total calories was 5,020 calories, so about 5,000 calories. Um, that's pretty much, I'm gonna guess, average for each day. And it, like I said, it varies, give or take, um, having like restaurant meals or going out to eat. Uh, what will stay the same, like I said, is those two liquid shakes. For me, that's imperative. Once I conquer those, I have already 400 grams of carbs um, down the hatch, and it's, you know, at that point, that gives me a really good head start. And then I wait for my appetite to finally kick in, have uh, the whole food meal. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's working pretty well. Uh, weight's around 260. And we'll do updates and kind of bring you through more days uh, with other foods that I add for as, you know, going out to eat and all that stuff. And we'll do more uh, videos just like this to keep you up, up to date.